Hello, so far so good. Yeah, it's been about 10 days since my last video, so I figured I'd post something uh, to kind of get catch you up what's going on. I'm um, just uh, driving around town today, a little side street here in the beach town. I did order some stuff off Amazon. I ordered me a tennis racket bag and some Crocs. Then I went by Walmart, picked me up a coffee maker. But otherwise, uh, you know, I had to go pick up some stuff from a friend's house that came in on Amazon today. And uh, was doing some laundry today. So we're just driving down Side Street right now, heading toward A1E, A1A Beach Boulevard. Uh, I am in a, in a living in a small beach town in Florida. Straight ahead of me is A1A Beach Boulevard, and the beach and the ocean is straight ahead. If you were to drive straight, you'd run run into the water. Uh, so we're heading to the county pier, where there's a place I like to hang out and uh, so forth. But yeah, for the last couple of days, I mean, I've been working a lot, uh, picking up some shifts. Um, so I mean, trying to make some money. Uh, I've caught up on most of all my bills. So pretty much everything now is going to be set aside um, just for down the road for uh, stuff for the van. And, uh, you know, I'm looking to hopefully save enough money to buy another van, um, you know, so I can get out of this one and get, you know, a better van. This one's got about 170 some thousand miles on it. Um, it's got some issues, but I mean, it's still drivable and stuff, but I mean, I'll drive it till it dies, but you know, I want to have that money off set off to the side uh, to be able to purchase a new van when I, uh, when the time is ready. And once I have the money, it kind of gives me more options to shop around and decide what I want, uh, what I want to pick up. So um, don't worry, I didn't run over this bird. It did move out of the way. <laughs> so fire station number seven there, and then uh, this pier parking lot. Like I said once before in a video that the a lot of these palm trees they have outlets to plug in. Now I've tried a lot of spots, a lot of outlets don't work. Either the GFCI breaker in them is not working or not working. So I did find a couple of spots. I won't tell you where they are in case you're following me around. Just kidding. Um, you do have to kind of pick your spot and check the outlet, see if it works or not. I did find about maybe five spots. And the only problem is every time I come in here, all those five spots are taken. So it is a hit or miss or a first come, first serve. Uh, there's a pier shop, there's the pavilion, um, but I do come down here and hang out. It's a great place to hang out for the day. Um, they do have a shower by the volleyball courts that you know you can rinse off and do whatever you need to do. I prefer not to shower here very often. I do have my shower spot uh, further down the beach. I told you where it's at. There's usually nobody there. But otherwise, uh, you know, one thing I've noticed, there's a van. You know, a guy I know is probably either traveling in it or living out of it. I've noticed a lot more vans now that I live in a van. You know, I can spot certain vans that I know people are living in. Um, or staying in, you know, camping or van life in it. Or, as I say, minivan life in it. Um, but it is summer, so there's a lot of people traveling. I do see a, a lot, a lot of state vans. Um, so I kind of notice, you know... I guess, you know, nomadic life people a lot more than I ever did before. Um, but, you know, it's something that uh, you, you, you figure out on the way. Um, like today, you know, it's been kind of one of those scrub days where I'm not doing much. Uh, like I said, I was getting some laundry done today. Um, had to go to a friend's house to pick up my Amazon packages. Um, I did buy, went to Walmart, did buy the coffee maker. I figured I was spending about $6 a day. You know, um, on coffee, and you know, I drink decaf. So a lot of people are like, "What's the point of spending money?" But I like to taste the coffee now. I wasn't a big coffee drinker before, but now that I get up early enough, um, I like to have a cup of coffee. And uh, so, I mean, six dollars a day. I got a little coffee maker. Cost me ten dollars, nine ninety nine at Walmart. Um, it makes literally two perfect sixteen ounce cups of coffee. Um, you know, and then a decent sized can of just you know walmart brand decaf coffee was i think four bucks i mean that'll last me for about maybe a month so i mean it's cost effective so i found my little parking spot i like to hang out at. i got a great easterly wind coming in about seven miles an hour so seven to ten mile an hour gust and uh one thing i do like that I usually won't give up the luxury of is laundry service yeah i said i was doing laundry but Laundry service is the way to go. You know, you drop it off, they weigh it. 
they wash it and then they fold it and put it in a bag for you to come pick up later that day. Um, and I try to do it on Wednesdays because that's men's day. That men's day is a dollar thirty-four a pound, so you save yourself about twenty-five cents a pound. But it's really nice to have. So thanks for following along, guys. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you want. All right, bye.